Welcome back guys to Hyrule Warriors Adventure Mode where Pixel Midna continues on. Right, we just done ourselves tons of treasure off the last level with Midna. Heart container, heart pieces, sculptures galore. We've even started ourselves a new picture, but what I'm most interested in at this point in time, oh we could do this one thinking about it, <laughs> is over here. Let's go get ourselves a big heart container and one of those bomb things. Right, defeat all giant bosses within the time limit, level 4, restricted to Darunia with Ruto as an ally by the look of it. Let's get down there and fight. So Darunia sir, what weapon you use? Fire experience seems good by me. Let's see if you can level up at all. All my characters are getting to some nice levels now, that's for sure. But how's this gonna be? Defeat all the giant deep guys. Loading bar is there! So let's get in and see a very small map, that's for sure. Alright, what else have we got going on? Defeat the giant bosses one by one. Manhandler, what's this appeared? Transport Captain. Magic Jar Transport Captain. Force Fragment. Well, if that goes to Force Fragment Captain, I'm gonna go over there. That's Heart Transport Troops over there. So we'll go do the left Manhandler first then. I guess it's the best way to go about doing this. So, for an A rank, I'm probably going to want to keep low on my HP loss. Considering we're fighting boss monsters, or more to the point, considering we're fighting Manhandler, who I do not want to fight in the first place, well, that might be a challenge. Can we even A rank this one to get the heart container? Yes, yes, growl all you want. Oh, give me that move. Oh, no. Ah! Right, we've been hit already because we've got the wrong item for Manhandler. To start off with. My god, I'll weather that storm. And oh, that'll be two of them done. And they're just a little bit too high. Okay, we've got another one. Somehow I got nicked by that a little bit, but not really all that hurt. So, Manhandler. Ooh, that's a good weak strike move. Oh, no! I meant to use my special just a little bit after that to get the weakness strike nicely. To oh, there we go. Problematic. All right, get out there. Well, at least we managed to hit it again nice and fast. That wasn't as planned though, but this is already two minutes gone for the first weakness strike, and by the look of that HP pool, we're going to need three, unless we use the transport captains to our aid. And that should be number two. If the force transport one had reappeared, I'd go fight him right now. Oh, he is on me. But he's right next to me. All right then, what move are you going to use, sir? Oh, I saw it coming. Doesn't mean I got away from it in time, did it? A manhandler has noticed the fighting, has he? Ow! I don't want to get hit by that. I don't think I can even guard that. Break off from the battle and keep your distance from manhandler? Is that what I should do when he starts to go insane? Well, to be honest, what I should do is smash him down right now. Oh, a little bit too early, a little bit touch more in the hits and we would have got the weakness strike down. Roll, Darunia, roll! Do you know what would be good right now? The oh! Yeah, that, that, that would be good right now. Oh, 
Amaze we had to do a weakness strike considering his HP and it seems the other man handlers coming well over here. Alright, a weapon acquired. I'd prefer materials. But if we defeat this transport captain, we get our SP full. Which will help us defeat this one, hopefully. Heart transport troops have appeared. That's nice for them. And that's extremely nice for me. What just happened there? That should be enough. To break it down for the first weakness strike we need. What might be good now is to retreat. I don't know. If we can get the magic potion. Well, that's a good one to defend, that's for sure. Two heads down. Is he going insane? No, he's got weakness. I wasn't expecting that at that moment. Oh, I used my special! It's hardly going to do any damage at that moment. Alright, out of here, out of here, out of here, go! Break off of battle. Best I can serve my HP in terms of going for the A rank. Apart from that, it seems... The other guy really wants to travel to the other side, but Darunia is just going to nuke this guy down and get that. That is what I want. Alright. We could try to build up a little bit of special on skeletons around, or we could check some grass quick. Right, he's next to being broken down anyway. So let's go check out the big creepy monster. Now what attack are you going to do to me? One of the ones I wanted, that's for sure. Like two heads down. The other two. Oh, you actually got me then? Magic jar transport troops have arrived. It seems that Ruto is attacking the special transport troop guy. Oh, there's special right there. No, that's a hookshot parrot. That's not special. That's what I'm after. Okay, we got ourselves a free head at that moment, but he's going insane again. Just stay undamaged. Oh. Okay, poison. Different attacks you're using, are you, sir? Do you know what? If only the magic jar transport troop was really up. No, that's what I need. That's what I need. Will that kill him? Seeming he's open, will the special itself do enough damage? No. But that will. Right, Manhandler defeated, but was that enough for an A rank? Was it fast enough? Was it strong enough? Did I lose too much HP? The way we find out is if it says victory or if it takes us to a chess screen, supposedly. Well, that would mean an A rank. Our container looks so small in your hands, but a maximum hearts have increased by one. Exactly what we needed. Victory indeed. Though I prefer to get materials rather than straight weaponry. Beggars can't be choosers, can they? At any time we're fighting a boss, it'd be best to get silver or gold materials. As Darunio goes skits once again. I'm always of half a mind to call him King Dodongo instead of Darunia. I don't know how you're so ha happy about that. I really don't. 
But an A rank is gained. We got ourselves an item card, a magic hammer with fire on it again, and got a sword with an ability to unlock. So in the meantime, get rid of one without an ability to unlock is always the good answer. Considering the fact that we got so many of them! Right, we've opened up a new area where Battle Victory will just give us bombs it seems, there's not even anything to search. But over here is interesting, but for a guest character, that's... Hmm... Right, where should we go next is the question. Should we just go get this bomb one and then open up this, because there's a hookshot there if we... Oh no, we have to go that way first. Well, there's heart pieces opened up by going that way, so we got tricky trials coming our way. Who shall undertake the tricky trials? Well, to be honest, let it be someone powerful so they can break through it as fast as possible. Uh, not link with his thing just yet, we'll do that a bit later, but... Yeah, Zelda's one of my definitely preferred characters, that's for sure. Polished Rapier, Glittering Rapier, I kind of like this one quite a bit. If we might get anything from any enemy that we defeat, it's best to have Materials Plus and all that on as well. So why are these trials tricky? Tell me. There are three trials in this battle. Defeat the correct enemy. Advance to the target keep. We shall indeed. It seems we can even take some carving to get special and whatnot if we really wanted to. After all, destroying grass. It's a custom. Trial one. Defeat the enemy that can disappear. Well, not you then. There's a Poe in here somewhere. I only knew of one enemy that could disappear after all. Well, still alive somehow. Won't be for much longer. Defeated the correct enemy indeed. A weapon gained. Right. Next keep advancement. Open the gate then. Tricky trials. This is where it really does get tricky. You never know. You never know what they might throw at you next. Trial 2 then, what are you? Defeat the enemy that immobilizes you. What enemies have we got in here? Re Dead Knight then, obviously! If the shield moblin would kindly go away a bit. That's a nasty spear you got coming your way. Trying to avoid hitting the Moblin at all is a bit of a harder task, but the re -Dead Knight is defeated. What's our next trial? Well, it's going past the keep a fair bit. Princess Zelda has to be one of my favourite characters in this game. I just like the way she attacks and the moves that she has and her and light arrows if you get them aimed correctly, they're so good! Trying to defeat the enemy in a disguise. Who's the other guy? Well, I think we know which one's which, yeah? Yeah, I was about to say, I bet Link gets hit by this. Link has appeared and Sheik has appeared. Well, we know which one we're going for. Leave me alone! No, don't, don't both go weakness strike. I need one of you separate from the other. I'm out of there, I'm out of there. I'm not staying around. Yes, Link can get blocked by trees. It's fine by me. Wow, will this hit Link or not? Okay, we got a good hit solid on Sheik alone. But I don't want to get hit too much. Myself. Now, can I separate them using an item, maybe? Well, they seem to be wise for that trick, don't they? Oh, hello! Oh, I got a chance to, and then Link came at me. Finally, I get the chance! And considering we were playing as Zelda, knowing who the enemy in disguise was came quite easy, I'd have said. 
Here are the results, but well, we know what we're going to get as a reward. You completed all of the trials successfully. <laughs> it's been decided we have won. Yes, the trifles of wisdom comes in handy sometimes. I do like that end sequence as well. Warrior Zelda goes to Princess Zelda. I prefer to stick in the Warrior Zelda persona though, but A rank all around! Definitely what we're going for. Item card bomb! We got ourselves a glittering rapier with rupees plus. It's got a lot of space on it, so I might keep it over some other weapons here. We've got an unlockable thing there. We got stars plus on that one. Hook shot to pass on on that one. A materials plus that I'd like to take from that one. Hmm. Actually, it's not that great, is it? I'd rather keep the one with three. It's because I'm always mixing things up. Sheik's Kunai is a weapon I've not gained yet, or a material I've not gained yet. So with that done, we extend our total scope of things we can do here, but battle victories seem to be mostly... Baron, apart from here, where Darunia could pick up another heart container. Where to defeat 500 enemies in 10 minutes. That's not too hard. You wonder what could, would kind of be to stop you, but we've got ourselves a fair few A ranks. But yet again, it's time to head back to Legend Mode. Let's start to work. On a few of those Ganon Sculptulas. So. Ganondorf's Return, Hard Mode Sculptula. All, only these require me to play as Ganon, which probably means the missions themselves are going to be fairly hard. We'll find out as we step straight into the Grudu Desert. And so with an outrageous assault taking place and Manhandler still trying to bombard me, we find ourselves coming up to a Sculptula. We have it spawned, it's not under that rock. But the music is dulling out round here. Well that's for sure, so it's got to be inside the keep. Pray that I don't miss it with my little bit of deviation. Or maybe not, it's getting quieter, but... It must be in the obvious place. They're behind these vines. Sculptula grabbed another piece for the picture, so let's find out which one it fills. So with the picture coming together, we've only got, what is that, eight more spaces yet to fill? We obviously can't do that in Legend Mode, can we? Hmm, that's a question in and of itself. But we move onwards with Ganondorf's Sculptula finding. To our next map. Where are we going? The Valley of Sears is next. Let's get playing, jump in there and see what the challenge is. So our next Sculptula target spawns after taking out all of the Impers, all of them indeed. In fact, I probably shouldn't be messing around in terms of killing anything, because that's a lot of corridors to check out. Well, it doesn't seem to be on the outskirts. Let's head into the center and hope it's not far on the left or far on the right. Here comes the time where we start to be quiet. Uh, Listen for a sculpture or two. Nothing at the epicenter. Oh, no, we've seen it though. We've seen it before we've hit it for once. Good, I was about to start turning back and heading towards Lana's room. But there we go. Gold sculpture picked up, which leaves just one more on the Ganondorf trail. Let's see what picture that reveals. So with yet another victory comes yet another piece. One more Ganondorf. Skoshula to collect, which brings us to the end of his journey and a battle against Link and Zelda, of course. On to Hyrule Field, the Battle of the Trifles mission, Skoshula task. And so with a ridiculously hard mission, it seems, of defeating Link and Zelda consecutively like four times, we get ourselves a Skoshula popping up and thankfully I find it in the obvious location pretty easily there, but 
One of the hardest missions I've done. If I had to give tips to do it, I'd say defeat Link straight away at the start and keep those captains alive. And then defeat Link before he even gets to move, because at the moment, his position leaves him all the way back at the Westfield Keep. So yes, with that one done, it's just a picture left for the end of the episode, so I bid you guys farewell. Join me for more Hyrule Warriors next time. See you around. Bye-bye.